Hi everyone, welcome back to Home Head Chef. I'm Chef Tony and today I'm teaching you how to make pizza burgers. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my grandmother's pizza burger recipe. I'm not sure where she got it from, but this is a big staple among my family and I wanna share it with you guys today. We're gonna to need quite a few ingredients. One of them's gonna seem odd, but I promise you, you won't even know what's in there. So let's get cooking. We are going to need two pounds of freshly ground beef, one can of Spam. This is the odd one, but you won't know it's there, I promise. We want it diced up. We're gonna puree it up with a little bit of water and we're gonna cook it. We are also going to need one jar of traditional spaghetti sauce, yellow lid. I don't wanna drop any names. We're not sponsored. We need one teaspoon of sage, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of parsley, one onion diced, one eight ounce package of cheddar cheese, and one eight ounce package of mozzarella cheese, and of course, our buns. First things first, we wanna get ourselves a nice soup pot. On the stove, about medium heat, we're gonna go in with our diced onions and our ground beef. And we're gonna to wanna to brown this beef completely up and sweat the onions down till they're just about nothing. And then we're gonna drain off the grease. This should take about five to seven minutes. Now while the beef and the onions are working their magic, we're gonna puree up our Spam. Stir our Spam into our mixer, not mixer, our food processor. Let's add a little bit of water. We're just gonna wanna blend this up till it's a nice smooth paste. Now this is the consistency we're looking for with the Spam. Now let's head back over to the beef and give it a stir. All right, we're almost there. The onions are starting to become translucent. The beef is browning. I wanna give it about another two minutes or so once it looks like this. Our beef and onion mixture is perfect. So let's head over here and drain the grease off. Just like so. Back into the pot and back to the stove. Now we're gonna go in with our pureed Spam. I'm telling you, you won't even taste this in there at all. It's gonna add a nice velvety texture mouthfeel that you really can't find anywhere else. People are gonna wonder how you got it and what the secret is, but I'm telling you, this is it right here. Now we're gonna stir this up into the beef. We're gonna to wanna to cook it for about another minute or two, and then we're gonna add in our sauce and our seasonings. Now we're going in with our sauce. Get the meat mixture all incorporated. While we're stirring that up, we're gonna go in with our parsley our Italian seasoning, and our sage. Get that all mixed in as well. And we're gonna wanna let this simmer for about five minutes or so, then we're gonna add in the cheddar cheese. All right, she's been simmering. Now we're gonna go in with our cheddar cheese into the mix as well. Gonna go in slowly, stir this up till it's melted. Doesn't take long. Now this is going to add some depth of flavor. It's also going to cause it to thicken up. Go in with the rest. Now this is a huge staple here in Western Pennsylvania. Everyone loves it. Out on the east, they actually have a different type of pizza burger, which is a burger with pizza sauce on it. But today I'm sharing you with you my grandma's. Now we're going to finish up the cheese. Get that all mixed in. Now we're gonna to wanna to let this simmer on low for about half an hour. Then we're gonna come back and check it. And I'll see you then. All right, our pizza burger's nice and ready to go. I got a sheet tray here of our burger buns. We're doing open face. We're gonna spoon some of the sauce on each one. We're gonna go in, then we're gonna to top it with some mozzarella cheese. We're gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 
15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is golden brown. I really wish we had smell-o-vision so you guys could smell this. It smells amazing. Just a nice little sprinkle on top, like so. And like I said, into the oven. And then we'll stop back in about 15 minutes my time, your time, it'll be a second. We'll see you there. And there you have it. That's my grandma's pizza burger recipe. Let's get a taste. Mmm. I'm telling you, this is out of the world. Out of this world. It's dynamite. The flavors really come together. You're not quite sure what the taste is. It all blends so perfectly. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Go ahead and help hit that thumbs up button. Help us out. Help us grow. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thanks for stopping in, guys, and we'll see you next time.